Hello everyone and welcome to this Aquas 2020 tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn how to make flowing rivers with Aquas 2020. The tutorial is divided in three parts. In the first part we will use Aquas setup wizard to export a river reference image. In the second part we will use a reference image in a flow map painter software to paint our flow map and in the last part we will take the flow map back to Unity and use it on the water material to make the water flow. In this scene we have a terrain and a basic water setup. There is an area that works nice as part of a river. We will create flowing water in that area. I have the setup wizard docked in the bottom right corner. Let's switch to the tools tab. Here we select the river reference tool. We are asked to provide the water plane as an input parameter. Drag the water plane from the hierarchy and drop it here. We can now click create river reference image. Aquas will save the image in a folder called River References, which is located inside the Aquas 2020 main folder. The River Reference image represents a top down view of your water plane that helps you when painting the flow map. Next, we will need to open Flow Map Painter. Flow Map Painter is a tool designed by tech artists specifically for painting flow maps. It is entirely free and has been created with Unity. You can find a download link in the description box of this video. This is what Flow Map Painter should look like when you open it. When you use the cursor to paint on the provided texture, you can get a preview of what the flow map will do. Of course, we cannot use this texture because we wouldn't know where our river is. This is where we can use our newly created river reference image. Paste the full path of your river reference image in the custom texture path input, including the file extension, and click Load Custom Tiling Texture. We see that a 4x4 texture tiling is applied to our reference image. Let's set the UV tiling to 1. To delete the flow already painted, click Clear Flow Map. Make the necessary adjustments to your cursor up here. We can now start painting the river flow in the area we looked at in Unity. Once we are done painting the flow map, we need to export it. Input the path you want to save the flow map to. I will save it inside the Aquas 2020 folder in a subfolder called Flow Maps, and I will name the file Tutorial Flow Map. Now click Bake to Texture. Flow Map Painter will not create the folder if it doesn't exist, so make sure to pre create it. Back in Unity, let's find our newly created flow map. Select the Aquas water plane and expand its material properties. When we scroll all the way down, we find the flow map options where we can provide a flow map. Drop the flow map we just created into this property. I will set the flow speed really high just so we can see where the flow is in the right position. There seems to be a water flow, however, we also get some ugly artifacts. To get rid of those, we need to have a look at the flow map's import settings. There is a couple of things that we can do here. When importing textures, Unity will oftentimes auto-enable compression. Let's set the compression to None and click Apply. Now let's go back to the material settings and reduce the flow speed to get a more natural flow. I will use a flow speed of 200. Quick tip, using a minus sign before your flow speed value will invert the flow's direction. This looks a lot better. When not using a flow map for your water, be sure to set the flow speed to zero. If you still get visible artifacts, it may also help to reduce the maximum size of the flow map in the import settings. One word of advice before we finish this tutorial, flow maps are affected by the color space we work in. When working in linear color space, please don't forget to check the checkbox in the material settings that says linear color space to let Aquas know how to handle the flow map correctly. And that is it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will have a look at how to enable depth buffer support for Aquas to make it work with screen space effects like Aura, Enviro, and various other weather and effect systems. If you have any questions or need support, please feel free to send an email or leave a post on the forum. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next tutorial.